有规模超过六以上的，在千年有一次。不过外海到天外海域，在一九八六年也发生过一次六级大地震。然后那个尖叫声比较大。Okay, let's get right to our breaking news. Emergency crews scrambling at this hour after an earthquake hits Taiwan. The 6.4 magnitude quake struck about 20 kilometers northeast of the city of Walian. Officials say at least two people are dead, more than 100 injured. Roads split open, a hotel partially collapsed. There are reports that more than two dozen people are trapped inside that hotel. Images from social media are showing emergency responders blocking off the scene and soldiers are on their way. Ross Feingold is a senior advisor with DC International Advisory. He is in Taiwan. He felt the earthquake as it hit. He's joining us now from Taipei. Uh, Ross, describe uh, for us what it felt like. Well, the, these earthquakes began on Sunday night, um, and ever since then, we've had a series of aftershocks, although the, the heavy shake that occurred on Tuesday night was actually uh, being reported as another earthquake and not as an aftershock. And given that most of us here in, in Taipei are, are in tall buildings, uh, a 4.0 earthquake in, in the capital of Taipei is already quite a very heavy shake. And we're looking at some of the imagery. It's pretty amazing uh, roads uh, with, like, you see rocks cascading onto the roads. And we know that some of the roads have been blocked off. Uh, can you talk to me at all about what you're seeing in terms of media there about rescue efforts? Because I think that's got to produce some uh, difficulties, I would imagine, for uh, crews getting into the area. That's right. The, the, the area is somewhat remote, although there are good highways to get there. Uh, but it's it's relatively small towns and, and, and uh very rural in some parts. So I, I would expect some difficulty assessing the extent of the damage until daylight, which is about four hours from now. Uh, so rescue workers from all over Taiwan are trying to access the area. You know, we should keep in mind that earthquakes in Taiwan are common and rescue crews from throughout the island do have a lot of experience with earthquake recovery. But getting there is going to be a bit of a challenge, especially in the middle of the night and with roads, as you indicated, um, damaged in some places. And also because this is a somewhat mountainous area, there are rock slides and the rock slides began uh, with the initial earthquakes on Sunday night, followed by the many aftershocks that we've had. So some roads were already impassable due to the rock slides, and now it's made worse by tonight's very large earthquake. And Ross, we're looking at the imagery. It looks to me like the Marshall Hotel. I know that uh, you're in Taipei, but have you ever been to the region? Do you know much about this particular area or that hotel specifically? Well, it's an area of very popular with tourists, both local tourists as well as foreign visitors, because it is along the Pacific coast. So there is stunning scenery uh, from this area. Uh, right now it is the winter. It's in the mid 40s uh, Fahrenheit. So it's quite cold, which reduces the number of tourists who would be in the area. And the Lunar New Year holiday has yet to begin as well. So people are still at work or school. Uh, so there won't be a lot of tourists in these hotels. I've heard from people around is that there are many people trapped. Uh, we don't know about ca casualties yet. Uh, hopefully there's not many. Oh my God, this, this is an aftershock, I'm sorry. Oh well, my goodness. Oh my God. My goodness. So we, yeah, so we're told to just go to the road and stay in the road, but yeah, we're having a few aftershocks. This is maybe our seventh of the hour. Well, it is, it is very good. And if you want to break away fr from me, by all means do. But uh, so how often have those aftershocks been coming, Zina? Uh, after the initial shock, they came maybe every about, I would say, five minutes. And now they've been happening maybe every 20. Uh, they've not been as recent, but yeah, they're still, they're still happening. That was the biggest one we felt so far in terms of the aftershock. Zina, I'm going to let you get away because uh, you're there standing and clearly you need to get into a safer place.